Uh, TK, you guys played the league leaders, played them closer than anyone has thus far. Do you guys take any uh, solace in that fact? Do you, do you guys appreciate that fact whatsoever, or is it a loss of a loss? I mean, like Coach said, uh, we're not really too happy about more losses. I mean, we probably did the best in the conference in playing them. So, I mean, that's a plus. But uh, we still got a lot of work to do. Just hopefully the next going forward, we can just continue to work hard so we be able to pull that one out next time. TK, what happened um, with the, the intentional foul the, with, when you guys had 16 fouls? Was that a miscommunication with the scoreboard you guys? Yeah, yeah um, you know I thought I heard foul, but we was I wasn't supposed to foul. That's just a bad mistake on me. I gotta be aware of what Coach wants me to do. Yeah, we just wanted to, uh, at that point, we wanted to foul so we can get it up to uh, one less of seven. You didn't want to half the foul and still need like three fouls. Yeah, to the bonus. exactly. Uh, Kevin, uh, how would you assess how you guys competed on the defensive end? Uh, uh, I think I think we did really well. In, in that end, at the end, uh, especially in certain uh, periods. Because um, one thing with Buffalo is that they have a lot of momentum, but when they have their dead periods, it's, it's very flat in, uh, in that correlation. But uh, we need to, I think we need to, we can uh, capitalize on, on those dead areas. They, uh, they also run as much as anyone in the league. How did you guys hold them to uh, two fast break points? What was How'd you guys get that done? Make it more of a half court? Uh, crash with the five, everybody else get back. But uh, for me, I love running, so <laughs> it's, not, it's nothing to me uh, too much. No secret how competitive you are, TK. Um, you know, your on-court persona, just so intense. What's the, you know, what's the, the thought in your head like, though, when it doesn't go your way? You know, when you, what are you thinking when you walk back to the bench after that? that well, it's kind of easy sometimes just to, Get fired up, get out your game, let people get in your head. My teammates, the vets like Kev, Mike, JD, Doug, Gaff, and the coach stuff, just as I've been here, they've been trying to keep me level headed. You know what I'm saying? How much to give, how much not to give, and when things not going my way, just to stay consistent, just worry about the game plan. What's that competitor in your head thinking when, when you realized, oh man, that, that wasn't the foul I was supposed to commit? Just next play. Next play. So we're not next play. Kevin, you said crash with the five and get everyone back. Yeah. What did that? Do you think that was part of the rebounding edge that they had, or would you think it was something else? Oh, uh, that's only on the, on the offensive end, though. But uh, uh, they had a lot of um, offensive rebounds. I think. What's the numbers they had total offensive? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So uh, the box outs we had was uh, offensively was was not not that good. But I don't think that's that uh, that have anything to do with with that standpoint. How, how tough is Perkins to guard as, as a five, his ability to, mm -hmm. to go outside and he's a wide body too. Yeah. So uh, uh, what it's, it's like to try to wrestle him on that. Yeah, it's difficult to get around a wide body. Um, he's good to pop out and shoot the three, which I have uh, no problem guarding outside. But uh, inside is where he have all the strength and he make a lot of tough moves. Every move is very strong and, and, uh, and relaxed at the same time. So that's, that's, that was pretty uh, difficult to guard. TK, uh, 15 or 18 points from the second half. Uh, was, what did you notice in terms of the difference for you? Was it uh, just the opportunities that were available? Was there anything different mindset-wise from one half to the next? Well, it kind of happens a lot, so it's kind of funny. But uh, going into the second half, I just wanted just to pick up my intensity level and just go a little bit harder. Uh, I kind of missed a few stuff that I usually make in the first half, and I kind of didn't get to the areas I like to be on the court. So I try to emphasize myself just to try to get good shots for me and my teammates. Kevin, what can you say about, uh, you know, from the start of the season till now, TK's maturation process as a player, you know, mentally and then on the court making decisions? Uh, one thing he does really well is uh, his ability to apply what, he, what he's learned on the court, which is uh, uh, only a few people can do. Um, also his uh, consistency in his, uh, in his numbers and and the way he played and his intensity. Um, it's, it's great to see that, that, that positive uh, like correlation towards what, what he has been doing throughout the whole uh, season this year. How are, you keeping, how are you trying to keep things moving forward, Kevin? Uh, you guys you know, lost five of six. You've had some close ones along the way. Couldn't get over that hump tonight. Mm -hmm. How are you, in what ways are you trying to keep things positive and moving forward? Because it, it doesn't seem like yeah, you guys are mailing it in yet. Yeah, I was looking at it in, in uh, uh, 
in the aspect of of we having a few a few games which we which, which we supposed to win if we were uh, more competitive and uh, I think that was just a coincidence that we lost that much and then we have a big team waiting at the end. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a, that was just a coincidence to me. So I just I look I look past it a little bit. Okay, did, you, did you really did you really say something to, to Buffalo's head coach when you hit that first three? Yeah, <laughs> I did, but he said something first, so I just let him hear it. But after that, I ain't saying those to him because I didn't want to get a tech. Uh, how much is that out of the norm for you, or is that uh, another day at the office? No, day at the office. If you're gonna talk, I'm gonna let you hear it too. <laughs> Can you share with either one you said? Say one more time. Can you share with either nah. one you said? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Classified. <laughs> is that like a, a trash talker's code? Always. Leave it on the court. Anything else? Oh, uh, yeah, just Kevin. Uh, you had one play. Sort of closer to the end of the game, where it looked like you maybe had your knee reactivated, aggravated a little yeah. bit, but yeah. you've been jumping around all game. Uh, does it feel now like you can still test in the game and know that sometimes there will be some pain that, that comes along with that? Uh, yeah. Um, played 23 minutes, right? Which is, which is kind of okay. That's okay for me. 24 minutes, yeah. That's a that's a very okay limit spot for the knee for me. 15 to 20, that's that would be great. Uh, I had a because of foul trouble, I had to play a lot longer in uh, that first half from Gavin. Uh. Anything else? TK, uh, Buffalo's head coach called you the best player on the floor tonight. How do you balance you know, the yeah. feeling that that gives you with the, the lack of result that you guys wanted at the end there? I mean, it's an honor for him to say something like that. It's a privilege, but I mean, the, w the win is more important. So just down the road, that's all I want, wins, make championship.